Working on a 2005 Grand Cherokee. Um, this particular Jeep has the 45 RFE transmission in it, which is uh, mated to the 4.7. Um, no reverse lights. Now this particular Jeep doesn't use a fuse. Um, I'm told it does go through the transmission control module relay. I swap that out, still no reverse lights. Um, so what else they use is a uh, transmission range selector. Now on the trannies that are put on, bolted to the 4.0, it's outside the transmission. On this particular uh, Jeep with the 45 RFE, it is part of the shift solenoid above the valve body. Um, so I'm going to show you, I already got the valve body out, I'm going to show you what that all looks like. Um, and then I'll show you what the, the other parts look like. Okay, so here we have the valve body out. Um, you see our canister filter there, and then we have your typical filter there that has one nut that holds it in. Before you, you have 15 pan bolts, um, and then once you have that out, once you take your pan off and drain your fluid, next thing you want to do is disconnect the harness to the valve body. You can see it right here. And how that unplugs is it has a lever right here. It's kind of hard to get, see this lever. I'm kind of moving. You push down on that. When you pull down on that, there, it'll pop the connector off of the valve body. Once you have that disconnected, then you'll have five bolts that hold the valve body in there, and then the valve body will, will come down out. So that's how you're going to remove the valve body. Okay, so. Your transmission pan is going to be 15 bolts that are 8 millimeter, and then you're going to need a, 20, a Torx uh, T25 for the filter, and uh, and then you're going to also need T25 to get the. This is a shift solenoid. Um, try not to trip over my words here. So once the valve body's out, this is what we have. Now to get the shift solenoid off of the valve body, flip it over, and you'll see. You have to take out a series of um, T25 bolts. Once you have those out, this just lifts up off of there. Now, here's the important information. Main reason why I'm making this video, because I could not find information on this. On the 99 to 03, and this is a 2004, you'll see that that's a black connector. This is a white connector. When you switch from the black to the white, which is what's going to happen when you order a new one. They had issues with these. Um, the white plug is how they tell the newer ones from the old ones. When you do this switch, on the 99 to 03, you're also going to need a new cam plate. It's also called a rooster tail and some other things. Um, now I'm going to show you the paperwork that came with the new solenoid. See if I can show you in the uh, camera here, and you can pause the screen to read it. I thought this was interesting. I could not find information on this at all, and then here it is right here on this paper. See, if I can get that angled right. So hopefully you can pause the screen and, and be able to read this. Essentially what it is, is it's telling you right on here, 99 to 04, the original solenoid connector was black. Um, that you're gonna replace it with a white connector and a new code plate. This rooster tail, cam plate, code plate, it's got about six different names. Um, then it tells you from the 04 to 2011, it's a white connector, and you're going to replace it with a white connector. This being a 2004, I had the black plug. I need the new white one. If your 2004 already has the white plug, you won't need the new cam plate. But it also says right on here, um, if you don't, using the new solenoid pack with the original TRS code plate, which is transmission range selector code plate assembly, may result in intermittent or no backup light function. So right there is telling you in black and white that this does have a lot to do with the reverse lights. Um, you'll see on the valve body, it has contacts underneath here. See if I can show you this. See these five contacts? They slide along this cam plate and you'll see where there's indentions. See if I can get in there closer to show you. I don't know if you can see it or not in the camera, but there's marks, there's wear marks where that slides on here. So if that's worn down through, it might not be getting a strong enough contact. The contacts could be worn down over here. There's a number of things that could be wrong. Um, I found this 
on advanced auto the uh, shift solenoid remain remand for uh, about two hundred dollars and the cam plates can be had for twenty five thirty dollars so I'm hoping I hope I helped you out here um, I know the reverse lights on these Jeeps trick a lot of people there's a you know it's very tricky and then when you get reading online and you can't seem to find a definitive you know what what transmission range selector do I have um, do I need to replace the cam plate if I get the new range selector blah 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 so I took this all apart to see what I was actually looking at before I ordered anything and again if you have no backup lights it's gonna be your transmission range selector it is part of your shift solenoid pack which is this and when you order a new one you're gonna be ordering one with the white connector if you're going from the black connector to the white connector also get the new cam plate um, so I'm gonna be doing a filter fluid change get this put back in there this is a two hundred dollar core on this also so hopefully that helped you out a little bit I'm gonna get this all put back together um, and uh, I should have reverse lights then so thanks a lot and again hope that helped you out